Good morning, Milton Scholars. How are you today? I hope all is well. I'm glad to have you back for another fun day of learning. Today we are working on Unit 6, Day 2. And our objective for today is I can read and answer questions about a text. So you're going to be reading an article today, a new article uh, about Lewis Howard Lattimore. He, he was a very famous inventor, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy the text. Uh, very informative, very interesting text. So you are going to read this text, and you're going to answer questions about the text. And we have done this before. We've used our organizer to answer these questions before. So that is basically um, the activity for today. Now, why do we, why do we have these types of uh, activities where we read and then answer questions about a text? Why is it important? Who wants to answer that question? What do you think we get from reading and answering questions about an article? Let's call in someone I haven't heard from in a while. Let's ask Corinne. Corinne, why do you think we have these types of activities? How does it help us? Absolutely, thank you, Corinne. That is, that is a correct answer. Corinne said that by practicing uh, reading and answering questions, it helped us with our comprehension. And that's exactly right. Because when you have to answer these questions, you have to pull back now on the information that you have read. And if you have read it and you have comprehended that information very well, you will be able to easily answer the questions. So it sort of tests and builds our comprehension about the things that we read and to help us build that practice of reading for understanding. So we're reading for understanding, and so once we build that comprehension, we're able to go back and answer questions about the text that we've read. So that's one of the reasons it's important to be able to answer those questions on information that you've already read. Okay, so I'm going to model for you the very first question in our activity for today. Now that question, if you go to your chart, look at your, your chart, either in your on your packet, your hardcover packet, or the chart that is in your activity for today. And in the text dependent question column, the question says, what is Lewis Latimer, Latimer well known for? What is Lewis Latimer well known for? That is the question. That is the first question that you have. So then you move over to your chunk text. Look in that column where you will have some information that's from the text. Okay, so the chunk text, and I will read to you, and I want you to read along with me as you look either on your packet or you're looking at your activity in your lesson for today in your virtual learning. Okay, so let's read the chunk text together. It says, Lewis Howard Latimer was an inventor and draftsman. Do you remember? That was one of our vocabulary words, draftsman. Best known for his contributions to the patenting of the light bulb. Again, a second vocabulary word, patent and the telephone. Inventor and engineer, Lewis Howard Latimer was born to parents who had fled slavery. Mm, very interesting. Slavery, again, was one of our vocabulary words. Latimer learned the art of mechanical drawing while working at a patent firm. Over the course of his career as a draftsman, another vocabulary word, Lattimore worked closely 
with Thomas Edison and Alexander Graham Bell. In addition to designing his own inventions. So we've learned quite a bit in just that one piece of text about, um, about Mr. Latimer. So now let's go back to the question and let's answer the question. The question again is, what is Louis Latimer well known for? Well, that information is given in the first paragraph in our chunk text. It says that Latimer was an inventor, okay? So he was an inventor. We know that. And he was best known for his contributions to the patenting of the light bulb and the telephone. So what I will do is I will go over to the evidence-based response and I would list that information for question number one. So I would say he was he was an inventor and he was known for his contributions to patenting the light bulb and the telephone. So over here I will write uh, Latimer. I'm going to say Latimer and not he. Okay. I want to make sure I'm spelling his name right. Latimer was an inventor, comma, and well known for patenting. Patenting the light bulb and and telephone. All right. So this would be my evidence-based response taken from the chunk text that is given in your packet. So this is how you will, will move through each question. You will read your question. You will answer this question from the chunk text that is provided for you. And then you will write your response in the evidence-based response column. And you would do that for each question. Now, in your today's lesson, I have also added an answer sheet because I know um, a lot of you were having difficulty trying to edit in that, um, that original document that I send to you each day. So I have created an answer sheet for you in the Word document so that you will be able to write your answers. You'll be able to write your evidence-based responses in the answer sheet, okay? So this is what you will do for each one of your questions. Now, I want you to, I wanna ask you a question. Now that you, you, you have seen that, so far we've seen a lot of the spelling words, our vocabulary words in the reading in our article so far. Now, do you tell me, do you feel comfortable now that you know your vocabulary words and does it help you as you're reading through the article, what we've read this morning, does it help you better understand the text? Chloe, does it help you to better understand the text? Very good, Chloe, yes. Yes, it does. Because now you know, we understand what we're reading now when we come across the word draftsman. Uh, we come across a word like patent. Okay, so we don't have to stop and run to the dictionary because we've already covered those vocabulary words and we know very well what they mean to this text. Okay, so that's why our vocabulary is so helpful 
when we have the vocabulary each unit. It prepares us to understand and comprehend what we are getting ready to read. So it just prepares us, okay? So now I want you guys to go ahead and move through this activity. Uh, it's very short. So you'll have plenty of time to work on your journal writings and other things that you have planned for today. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call me. All right? Thank you. I'll talk to you soon.